just to show you how sort of far out of step these Republicans are, ultimately with voting against the PACT Act, John Stewart, again, to his credit, he actually went on Newsmax to sort of rebut uh, some of these talking points from Pat Toomey and Ted Cruz and others. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. Every one of those Republicans that voted against health care for veterans voted for the slush fund for the war. They don't support the troops. They support the war machine. And that's got to stop. The value in the U.S. military isn't in the toys. It's not in the hardware. It's not in the tanks. It's in the men and women. And until they start supporting them in the manner that they purport to online, yep. they are hypocrite. Savage and totally accurate. And yeah. another thing that John Stewart was doing is pointing out Every one of these senators, they pose with veterans, mm -hmm. they proclaim their support for the men and women who serve the country, and then when they actually show up and ask for something that they need, then it's, oh, let's find, oh, well, there's this technical accounting term that we don't like, so we're going to actually flip our vote on the very same bill. What, what's the real, I mean, the only thing that makes sense here is because they wanted to piss off the Democrats. They were throwing a hissy fit over the Manchin climate deal, and they wanted some way to stick it to the Dems, and they decided to use veterans as their political playthings. It's disgusting. No, absolutely. And you you, know, you even see that the Newsmax people were like, yeah, I don't, they're like, I don't buy a lot of it. They're like, even they agree with Jon Stewart. So yeah. this isn't landing with anybody. This is exactly the type of insane, almost like Obama era, so-called Tea Party conservatism. True. Return, which really is Pat Toomey. I mean, that's, that's where that's he came who from. Pat Toomey is. I mean, that too, his, like, in fairness to right. him, he's one of the ones who voted against it both times. So at least I guess he's being consistent with his absolutely terrible, like, immoral ideology. Yes. These other ones, 30 of them that flipped, wh why? It's yeah. It was literally just these, like, technical changes to the bill. They didn't add anything different. This accounting thing was in it from the beginning, from the House. It had to go back through the Senate. They thought this was going to be a layup because it was literally the same bill, and then here we are. Yeah, and they're, all of the framing internally on the GOP side is... This is a win for Biden, so let's not give it to him. That's what Chips was. You know, they're like, oh, it's a win. Sometimes it's not about Biden. You know, sometimes it's about something way, way bigger than that. And the fact that they let this stuff poison their brains to this degree is why we are in the state that we're in. Yeah. So, anyway. Disgraceful. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.